Thanks for playing Jesse's girl. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's the first Go time I heard that. Actually, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. You're not sick of that, are you? No, yeah, my no. grandmother will call me tonight and sing it again. Yeah, so great, great. Ah, they times. got you. Um, now, first of all, a bunch of things to talk about, but this is you do this movie Cursed, yeah. and you got to work with Scott Bayo in this movie, <laughs> yeah, that's right? right? Is it Bayo or Bio? I'm always confused. I think he he prefers Bio. Okay, we'll no, go with Bayo. Uh, <laughs> but you're. <laughs> But you, you work with him, and what's interesting is that you're of an age where, like, you'd be a big fan of his. Yeah, I was because like, of you're up, a very young guy. That's right. Yeah, and he, yeah, me and younger watched Charles in Charge. Uh, right. Yeah, grew up watching that. So you grow up watching Charles in Charge, and this is something I found that when you when you're young and you see people on TV, they become your idols. And yeah. I've you know working on this show got to meet a lot of really famous big movie stars, but then I'll just meet someone like Don Knotts, who was in Mayberry, right. you know, that I watched when I was a kid, and that's bigger to me. Yeah, so no, Scott I, Bayo to you is like the he, biggest yeah, star in the world. Didn't know he existed until I like, actually saw him on the set. Right. Um, I think he's just kind of mythic. Right, right. He's the god of dance or something. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy thing to say. <laughs> so you, so yes. what other, and you also worked with Elizabeth Berkley yeah, in this movie. Yeah, I know movie. you're a fan of Saved by the Bell. Oh, uh, no, no, she's, I did to I throw that in, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, don't sell me out like that. You're a, no, I too. Well, here's the difference. You watched Saved by the Bell when you were how old? Uh, probably 10. Okay. When I was watching it, I was like 28 years old. <laughs> I think it's probably Living just... alone in a studio apartment, eating cereal out of a bowl, and watching it, and feeling like a pervert. Uh... <laughs> I, I feel like a pervert, too. But, right, right. You know, I just didn't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you felt like a pervert, you just weren't sure what <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I've always felt like a pervert. So, 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 uh, so, Scott, Scott, you got your Scott Bayo. you have your Elizabeth Berkley. It's, for your age, like, who else would be a huge star for you to work with? Conan O'Brien. Oh, that's nice. That's, <laughs> that's, wow, this kid's good. Yeah, yeah. You enjoyed my work in Edward Scissorhands, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I think you were more gaunt. <laughs> yeah, I was more gaunt, yeah. Now, uh, what about, okay, you do this movie in Cursed, and yeah. it required a nude scene that's in right. the movie, but you, it wasn't your body, is that right? No, no, they were trying to, to sell tickets. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so so was that your choice? Did you did you say to them, I want to use my body for the nude scene, or was it their idea that there'd be another body there for the nude scene? Well, I think it would be you know any rational person's idea that it'd be another body. Right, but, right, um, right, right. I showed up on the set. I didn't realize like an actual. It's, it's actually a, like a stunt in the movie. I I wake up naked in the bushes because in the movie I'm, I'm I'm affected by a werewolf. I'm bit by a I'm right. clawed by a werewolf. So right, right. So anyway, so of course I would wake up in the bushes. And right. um, anyway, then I, I wake up in the bushes next to my house and I climb back in my house naked. Right. So I just. You know, I you read the script and you kind of just my eyes kind of gloss over and I read like stunts because I, you know. It's, See, that's it's the thing is, if I was reading time. that script and it was my part and yeah. it said anything about being nude, yeah. I would immediately panic and withdraw from the project. I would we be so. Heard you, <laughs> heard you demanded a rewrite. Yeah, actually. yeah, I would demand a rewrite <laughs> that I be fully clothed, like with, wearing extra clothes at all times. Yeah, so, right. but yeah. but so so this you meet this guy whose job it is to be you naked. Yeah. What was he like? He was he was actually having sex with my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, he's like, <laughs> he's very convincing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> uh, no, that was an awkward <laughs> conversation for you, wasn't it? Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, not with her. Yeah. yeah. Well, what? Uh, what's his name? His name is actually uh, his name is Chase Penny. What? That's yeah, not a name. Chase, that's uh, something you do. They really his that's name. Something is, you do. I love that. Like, yeah, yeah. That there's a, it's a yeah. goal-oriented name. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Chase Penny. I love that. He came up with, he was like, I'm a stunt, I'm a nude model. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna <laughs> call myself Chase Penny. That's right. And, uh, but was he an enhancement of your body, did you find, or an exact repli replica I, of your body? Yeah, you can only be an enhancement. Oh, right? no, no, don't be silly. I detract from my own body. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are both very self hating. I've always thought if I was in a movie and I had to be nude and they picked a stunt double, I would just get like this incredibly, this person that didn't match me at all, yeah, had like dark <laughs> olive skin, you know. You know. Well, the thing is, like, but then cut to my face, like, huh? That's what it is. But, but stunt guys yeah, look don't at my look body. Like them. Yeah. There's, there, I don't think there there doesn't exist stunt guys who who look like. Well, I'll speak for myself, like me. Right, right, right. You know, so there should yeah. be. There should be. I know. That's... We need. It's not fair. Um, so you're getting. You're you're in bigger and bigger films. You know. Yeah. And and this movie Curse can be seen by a lot of people. You're starting to get recognized. You're trying to have people notice you. Are you getting used to? I found the hardest thing initially wasn't people on the street noticing me. It was just like reading about myself. Yeah. You know, like you pick up a it's... newspaper and they talk about you and you think like, well, wait a minute, that's me. How could I be in the newspaper? Are you getting used to reading about yourself? Well, I, I haven't entered the newspaper. I've kind of like I've extended as far as internet blogs, but um, 
But yeah, I mean, they're, they're malicious. You know, it's anonymous. Don't, so. You're reading your inter the internet blogs that of, say things about course. you? Of course. I'm not. You know, I would never do that. I, I would never I'm go on the famous. internet. And, well, so so you read the. I mean, that's very gutsy. Because, well, you know, they're, it's malicious. It's yeah, they're gutsy. It's, you know, it's anonymous. So, of course, you know. It, it, you know, it increases how malicious they are. Right, they're, right. They're awful. There was, I, I was on a website, and it was like, they, somebody wrote in that, that, that I'm ugly. That's what right. they, they, they said, ugly. And then, and then the next few comments were, were like, they were, were, were kind of discussing the degree of ugliness. Like, they, <laughs> they'd accepted the premise already. See, I would, the minute I saw ugly, I would, I would log off or go look at porn or something. I wouldn't, <laughs> but you're sticking. You're like, they say I'm ugly, and then you're, yeah. you stay in the game. Well, I and did keep... look at porn, but then I came back. <laughs> you came and, back. Yeah. How ugly am I? Yeah. That's terrible. That's terrible. You shouldn't read that stuff. I know. It's, it's addictive. You're a, you're a fine-looking fellow, and you're, you're doing very well. You're a very funny guy, and Thank it you. was very nice to have you on the show. It's an honor to be here. Thank well, you. Well, it's not an honor, but let's say it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you have me confused with right. someone else. Uh, they told me was <laughs> yeah, cursed. Cur uh, cursed is in theaters now, and uh, I, I really uh, hope you'll come back because you're really fun okay. to talk to. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, very nice guy. Jesse Eisenberg. We'll take a break. We're right back. Slipknot is here.